At the end of May, we will elect our European representatives, uh, which is of course an important step of the democratic process uh, in Europe, especially as since 2009 and the Lisbon Treaty, the European Parliament has gained much more power than it had uh, before. In the last five years, the European Parliament has voted on uh, more than 500 texts, uh, which impacted our daily lives from our use of plastic bags to uh, the CO2 emission of our cars or uh, our personal data protection uh, online. And in the coming five years, um, important uh, topics will also be uh, on their plate. We can think about um, the, uh, the Brexit and uh, the future relationship that the Europe will have to uh, have with, uh, with Great Britain. We can also um, think of um, the Paris Agreement on which uh, the European Parliament will have to, to legislate to uh, ensure that the European Union reaches uh, its uh, climate change uh, targets. Um, but maybe even more importantly, the Parliament has a final say on the European uh, budget. Uh, 15 years ago, the European budget was essentially uh, agriculture. Uh, now, as you can see, less than 30% uh, of the budget is uh, spent on agriculture and more than 50% uh, of the budget uh, is spent directly uh, as investment in the European uh, economy and infrastructure. So these are certainly very important uh, decisions that our deputies will have to make in the coming years. The main risk in the upcoming uh, European elections is of course the rise of Eurosceptic uh, parties, which uh, 15 years ago represented less than 10% of the seats uh, in the Assembly. But this time around they could make up to one third uh, of the seats in Parliament, at least until uh, the Brexit process is done and uh, completed. Of course, this uh, will change uh, the equilibrium between traditional parties. This will also change the shape of the decisions that uh, the European Parliament uh, will take. And more importantly, this is likely to slow down uh, the process of European integration uh, in the, the coming years. Now, um, we do not expect a strong market reaction regarding the composition change of the Parliament itself. However, at the national level, uh, we believe that the upcoming election results um, could be a shock that changes the political agenda uh, in, in some countries. So especially we can think of uh, the United Kingdom or uh, Italy, where new elections could be triggered uh, following, uh, following the results. Uh, this would have a market impact. Uh, also, analysts will uh, have a close look on the results of the far right uh, in the largest European uh, countries, so especially Germany, France uh, and Spain, uh, as uh, the results of those parties could also change uh, the political balance inside uh, these countries in, in coming months. So these will be uh, important uh, election results to uh, watch for.